Okay, not making these up. Uh, I guess David Kuhn mentioned my name last night. I think the battery's gonna die, I'm not sure. But anyway, I never watched it. David Kuhn mentioned my name this morning during question period. And uh, this is the first time I watched it. Maybe the battery will die. But let's see. Uh, that's the first time that somebody mentioned my name since uh, Pam Lynch did. Okay, let's see what happened. This is Denis and Audrey. People to know how... Let's see here. Okay. ...is to update the population. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The leader is ready. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, um, and thanks to the Premier for his uh, update uh, on the coronavirus. Uh, Dr. Russell and Dr. Muick and the entire public health team are working tirelessly uh, to prepare and to uh, support New Brunswickers, Mr. Speaker, and, and uh, on behalf of my caucus, I want to thank them uh, for all of their work, uh, for, for sure. Um, and particularly, it was very timely that uh, the Mental Health of Health uh, put out her guidelines for uh, addressing ma mass gatherings the other, uh, just the other day, just yesterday, uh, which led us to make the final decision to uh, postpone the uh, our party convention that had been planned for this weekend in Fredericton. Um, it would have been uh, quite inappropriate to have people uh, coming in from the different parts of the province for a large gathering like that, and uh, so the, the advice was timely. Um, one of my constituents, Mr. Speaker, uh, in fact, Charles LeBlanc, the blogger, the other day, last night, in fact, uh, asked me an important question, and I think it's something we, among the many questions that we need to answer and figure out how to address is for people living on low income, um, and if they have to self-isolate, trying to find the means to put 14 days of food uh, aside is impossible. So we're going to have to find ways, creative ways of ensuring that the folks who are living on low income are able to have the food and supplies that they need if they have to self-isolate in their homes. Uh, so that's just another one of the uh, very important issues we're going to have to deal with that I'm sure we'll be discussing at the uh, new cabinet committee uh, on this issue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member for Franklin Grand Lake and Leader is ready. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank the Premier for uh, bringing forward this ministerial statement, and I'd also like to commend him on the uh, uh, all, all, all party, non partisan cabinet committee. That well, that was nice of him. Well, let's see what's going to happen.